Ten largest aircraft carriers in the world. An aircraft carrier is a type of ship designed to function as an airborne military base at sea. It is equipped with an extended flight deck to deploy and recover various types of aircraft, such as fighter jets, helicopters, and attack aircraft. Currently, there are approximately 41 aircraft carriers in active service under the navies of 13 countries worldwide. Let's take a look at the top 10 largest aircraft carriers in the world in the following article. 1. USS Gerald R. Ford Class Aircraft Carrier CVN-78, USA. The title of the largest aircraft carrier in the world belongs to the USS Gerald R. Ford Class, USA. USS Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the United States Navy in May 2017, with four other ships of this class currently in production. In July 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford began its active service and achieved initial operational capability in December 2021. Subsequently, the ship underwent modernization and maintenance to equip it with the latest upgrades. In March 2022, the ship belongs to the Gerald R. Ford class of aircraft carriers of the United States Navy and is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford. Powered by two A1B nuclear reactors, this aircraft carrier has an average speed of 56 km per hour, an unlimited operational range, and can accommodate a crew of 4,600. The Ford class is a modern aircraft carrier capable of launching more aircraft by over 25% each day, and requires less than 25% of the crew compared to the Nimitz class aircraft carriers. According to a calculation by the U.S. Department of Defense, the operating cost over the 50-year service life of the Ford class will be lower by over $4 billion compared to its predecessor aircraft carriers. With its enormous size, the Ford class can carry a maximum of 90 military aircraft of various types, along with a weapons system featuring two RIM-162 anti-aircraft missile launchers, two RIM-116 short-range missile launchers, three Phalanx CIWS automatic cannons, and four square meters 12.7 millimeters machine guns. In terms of electronic warfare systems, the Ford class is equipped with two advanced multifunction active electronically scanned array AESA radars, and SPY-3, and in SPY-4. Having passed the combat system's operational readiness examination SOAR, with a focus on its gun and missile systems, the Ford class will undergo testing of its electromagnetic aircraft launch system EMILS in the near future. The Navy's most advanced fighters, the F-35C Lightning II and F-A-18E Super Hornet, will be selected for routine missions on board. According to the research agency of the U.S. Congress, the USS Gerald R. Ford class is not only the largest aircraft carrier in the world, but also the most expensive ship in the world with a total cost of approximately $13.3 billion. The construction of the USS Gerald R. Ford officially began in November 2009, and it was commissioned into service in 2017. It is also the most technologically advanced aircraft carrier in existence today. 2. Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, USA. Ranked second on the list of the world's largest aircraft carriers is the Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, also belonging to the United States Navy. There are a total of 10 Nimitz-class aircraft carriers. The first one, named USS Nimitz, was commissioned in 1975, and the 10th, USS George Hugh Bush, in 2009. These Nimitz-class carriers have a length of approximately 332.8 meters, a displacement of 97,000 tons, and the capability to carry over 60 aircraft. Each aircraft carrier can reach speeds of up to 54 km per hour. 3. Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers, United Kingdom The Queen Elizabeth-class is the largest aircraft carrier class in the Royal Navy and the third largest in the world. The Royal Navy of the United Kingdom has two Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers. The first one, named HMS Queen Elizabeth, was commissioned in 2017, and the second, HMS Prince of Wales, in 2019. Both Queen Elizabeth-class carriers have a length of 280 meters, a displacement of approximately 65,000 tons, 
and the capacity to carry up to 40 aircraft, along with the crew of 679. Unlike many other aircraft carriers, the Queen Elizabeth class features two islands or command towers on its deck. The forward command tower houses the ship's navigation and steering systems, while the aft command tower serves as the flight control center. Both towers are equipped with large windows, providing those inside with a clear view of the flight deck above, without obstructing visibility. While French and American aircraft carriers operate on nuclear power, the Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers are powered by two gas turbines and four large diesel engines. These engines require continuous fuel supply, leading the UK to construct an additional four replenishment oiler ships to support the Queen Elizabeth-class carriers. 4. Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia The ship was constructed at the Black Sea shipyard in Nikolaev, Ukraine, following the design 11,435 from 1985. However, it wasn't until 1995 that it officially entered into service. Unlike many Western aircraft carriers, the Admiral Kuznetsov class was designed to be capable of independent combat operations against various types of vessels. With its own weapon systems, without the need for an accompanying fleet, as it is primarily a missile cruiser, the ship is assigned to the Northern Fleet of Russia. Throughout its existence, the ship's name has changed several times. In the design phase, it was referred to as Soviet, during construction as Riga, during launching as Leonid Brezhnev, and during testing as Tbilisi. In 1990, the ship was officially named the Admiral Kuznetsov Aircraft Carrier. The Admiral Kuznetsov Aircraft Carrier has a maximum displacement of 61,390 tons, a length of 306.45 meters, and a width of 71.96 meters. The ship can reach a top speed of 29 knots and is capable of independent operations at sea for up to 45 days and nights. The crew consists of 1,980 personnel, including 520 officers, 322 warrant officers, and 1,138 sailors. The carrier is designed to deploy 50 aircraft and helicopters. Currently, it carries Su-33 fighter jets, Su-25 at combat training aircraft, and Ka-27 helicopters. The Admiral Kuznetsov is equipped with six AK-630 anti-aircraft artillery systems with 48,000 rounds of ammunition, 12 granite cruise missile launchers, two RBU-12000 anti-submarine rocket launchers, four Kordic anti-aircraft gun missile systems, and four Kinzel anti-aircraft missile systems. The power and capabilities of Russia's sole aircraft carrier were most prominently demonstrated during its participation in the campaign against ISIS forces in Syria. The task force accompanying the Admiral Kuznetsov included the guided missile cruiser Peter the Great, the anti-submarine destroyer Severomorsk, and the destroyer Vice Admiral Kulikov, along with several support vessels. By January 6, 2017, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the withdrawal of the task force to create conditions for peace negotiations in Syria. In total, 40 aircraft on the Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier participated in the air campaign in Syria, conducting 420 sorties, including 117 nighttime sorties, along with 750 reconnaissance, search, and rescue flights. A total of 1,000 terrorist targets were destroyed. According to plans, the Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier will be equipped with modern electronic warfare systems, communication, surveillance, navigation, and combat control systems. Additionally, representatives from the defense industry have indicated that during the repair and upgrade process, the ship's outdated granite missile system will be replaced with the caliber NK missile system often dubbed the Caspian Sea Monster. With a range of up to 2,500 km, the caliber NK is considered one of Russia's most accurate and powerful long-range missiles. The missile measures 8.9 meters in length, carries a 450 kg warhead, can travel at speeds of 980 km per hour, and has a range between 1,500 and 2,500 km. The Caliber NK cruise missile uses GLONASS satellite navigation, inertial navigation, 
and active radar ARGS 14E for guidance, allowing it to adjust its path according to the terrain, making it difficult to detect. The caliber NK missile can fly as low as 50 meters above the ground and has an accuracy of less than 3 meters. This missile system is considered to have super destroyer capabilities, striking fear into potential adversaries. The flight deck will also undergo upgrades to ensure the safety of aircraft taking off and landing on the Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier. Various types of aircraft will continue to be deployed on the flight deck, including heavy fighter jets like the Su-33 and MiG-29K Cub. 5. Liaoning, China Liaoning is currently the world's fifth largest aircraft carrier and is in active service with the Chinese Navy. It has a length of 304.5 meters, a displacement of over 58,000 tons, and can carry approximately 50 aircraft, including fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. Originally developed as part of the Soviet Navy's Kuznetsov class, it was acquired by China after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. 6. Shandong, China Shandong is the first domestically built aircraft carrier in the Chinese Navy, commissioned in 2019. It has a length of 305 meters, a displacement of approximately 70,000 tons, and can carry a maximum of 44 aircraft. 7. INS Vikramaditya, India INS Vikramaditya is one of the largest and most modern aircraft carriers in India converted from the Russian aircraft carrier Baku. Russia sold this carrier to India in a contract worth $2.3 billion in 2004. With a length of 283.5 meters, a displacement of about 44,500 tons, and the capability to carry up to 36 aircraft, INS Vikramaditya of India ranks seventh on the list of the world's largest aircraft carriers. The aircraft carrier INS Vikrant is currently serving in the Indian Navy. INS Vikramaditya has a modern fighter aircraft fleet, including the formidable MiG-29K. Additionally, the carrier can carry reconnaissance and command helicopters like the Ka-31 and anti-submarine helicopters like the Ka-28. It also features the Westland WS-61C King helicopters. The ship's armament includes Barak-1 and Barak-8 anti-aircraft missiles, as well as four AK-630 close in weapon systems. The maximum complement of crew members, pilots, and personnel on board is 1,610 individuals. INS Vikramaditya is equipped with eight steam boilers, four shafts with propellers, and four diesel engines with a total power output of 180,000 horsepower. Maximum speed, 30 knots 56 km per hour. Operational range, 25,000 km. At a speed of 18 knots 33 kmh, the carrier has a cruising range of 45 days. 8. INS Vikrant, India. Similar to China, INS Vikrant is India's first domestically built aircraft carrier delivered to the Indian Navy in August 2022. With a length of 262 meters, a width of 62 meters, a displacement of 45,000 tons, a top speed of 28 knots, and an operational range of up to 7,500 nautical miles, Vikrant is an impressive vessel. It boasts over 2,000 compartments and can accommodate up to 1,700 crew members and a maximum of 40 aircraft. Vikrant's flight deck uses the short takeoff but arrested recovery stober design, which utilizes a ski jump to shorten the required takeoff and landing distance using arresting wires. This design restricts the choice of fighter aircraft somewhat, with the F-18 from the United States and the Rafale from France currently competing for the carrier's aircraft complement. In addition to the aircraft, the helicopters operating on the Vikrant aircraft carrier include the KMOV-31 early warning helicopter and the M60R Seahawk multi-role helicopter. Apart from its combat capabilities, India's new aircraft carrier is highly regarded for its modern radar systems, capable of detecting threats both at sea and in the air from long distances. According to military experts, INS Vikrant will enhance India's presence and demonstrate greater strength in the Indian Ocean while serving as a tool to address any crises. 9. Charles de Gaulle, 
France. Ranking ninth in the top 10 list of the world's largest aircraft carriers is France's Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier. The ship has been in operation since 2001. Charles de Gaulle has a length of 261.5 meters, a displacement of approximately 42,500 tons, and can carry up to 40 aircraft. The carrier can achieve a maximum speed of 26 knots 48. 6 km per hour. Its impressive size allows it to accommodate 1,150 naval personnel, 550 air force personnel, 50 technical staff, and serve as a temporary base for 800 ground troops. CDG, with hull number R91, was built by the Brest Naval Shipyard in Brittany in 1989. It was launched for initial trials in 1994, and in 2001, the aircraft carrier conducted its first combat mission. In terms of firepower, CDG can carry 40 military aircraft, including 30 Dassault Rafale M fighters, 2 E2C Hawkeye's airborne early warning aircraft, 2 NF Cayman any submarine helicopters, 1 Eurocopter S565 Panther helicopter, and 2 S365 Dauphin Pedro helicopters. In addition to airstrikes, CDG is equipped with eight giant 20F to 20mm anti-aircraft guns for close in defense. During its first mission, CDG was deployed to Afghanistan in December 2001 as part of the US-led Operation Enduring Freedom of. Here, the aircraft carrier executed 770 missions and provided support in the fight against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, averaging 12 sorties per day. In March 2002, U.S. President George W. Bush expressed gratitude for the contributions of the French Navy to the OF campaign, saying, Our ally, France, has deployed nearly a quarter of its navy to support Operation Enduring Freedom. The aircraft carrier CDG has demonstrated its excellent capabilities, and I am truly impressed and appreciative of this presence at the time. Most recently, Charles de Gaulle and its entire fleet were present in the Black Sea to support NATO military operations. 10. Cavour, Italy. Standing at the bottom of the list of the world's largest aircraft carriers is Italy's Cavour. The ship entered into service with the Italian Navy in 2009. The aircraft carrier Cavour has a length of 244 meters, a displacement of 30,000 tons, can carry up to 20 aircraft and reaches a maximum speed. In summary, the United States has the most aircraft carriers in operation, with 11 carriers. China, India, and the United Kingdom each operate to aircraft carriers. France, Russia, and Italy each have one aircraft carrier. These aircraft carriers are renowned symbols of naval power and global influence.